Hello and welcome to a special video. Doomsday Paradise, the demo. Can't play it after this video is uploaded. I'm here to make some lovely ladies and some lovely gents best friends or lovers and friends. Her shirt is glowing. I don't know if her shirt has a light or if her shirt is sentient or not. But there is some stuff happening right now. And it's great. Let's start right away by doing the credits. No, we'll do the credits last just to give credit for what I'm a very special individual. Only me and a very select few people have access to this game. And I may or may not have had a chance to voice this game, a character in this game, which is not special at all because I didn't do it. I had the opportunity to try though and life be getting in the way. But let's go on a paradise. I'm great, very good friends. You can play with multiple people. That's cool. I don't really know how that works. You could like share so I could have a buddy here and he could be or she could be, you know, doing her thing. All right. So we're going to all this stuff has probably going to stay the same. I don't want to play the tutorial, but also, you know, you got to play the tutorial sometimes. I don't know what voice acting is going to be like in this game, whether or not I'm going to regale you with my voice acting or not. So let's see. Oh, who am I? So many options. I could be a frogman, a space astronaut that may or may not be a space astronaut, a crab man with a questionable situation going on, or I could be a triceratops with a pie. You know what? As tempting as this is, I'm gonna I'm, I'm go... Man, I did not expect these hard decisions in the beginning. We're gonna go with this guy. Hey! Sexy marine biologist looking for a radical time. You gotta be cool with my craw, with my crew. Craw probably would've worked better there. I'm thinking about the crab guy. Though, I'm ride or die, baby. So that's his thing. Pirate King, sexy marine biologist. Oh wait, no, this all says the same thing. What is this? Oh, this is who I love. Okay. My bad. Let's see what he says. I expect him to sound different. <laughs> this will be a blast. I do like her voice. So let's look at our uh, matchmaking options. Cleo, probably Patra. I've got giant biceps and a trophy case full of defeated enemy. Enemy, I can't read. Defeated enemy lord. This doesn't, this doesn't say enemy at all. Swords under six inches need not apply. I'm sure there's no hidden context to that. Frank, I'm just on this app to make friends. I'd love to meet a chemistry buddy. Tessa, shopkeeper, I'm looking for a partner in crime. Hypothetically, wink, wink, who can carry a lot of stuff. Hypothetically. Vondo, I'm wizard. You wizard. Haley, I'm the main character. Trick or treat, let's skip school and watch slasher flicks. All right, who do we go on a date with? Should we just go on the first, this is like uh, Monster Tinder, which fun fact I used to think was not, was spelled T-E-N-D-R, not E-R. I don't know if it matters who you pick or it's just like your avatar that you see in the corner of the screen. I probably should have done this sooner because there's more options here than I expected. Who should we fall in love with? Only time will tell. I'm feeling the shopkeeper. She's got some cool hands. Also, I can carry a lot of stuff. So we'll go with uh, Spaceman. And we'll go with Shop Lady. He looks pretty strong. Alright. Shark Lord approaches. I got five days to do this. Welcome to Sunset Town, a beachable paradise known for its beautiful weather, excellent surf, and fecret apocalypses. With the impending end of the world being such a common occurrence, the town has filled itself with fantastic heroes. The ever-kind, generous, and horribly misfortunate Dr. Frank. 
legendary warrior and incredible klutz, the retired Cleo, radical dread pirate and marine biologist, Captain I, the peppy and excitable Haley, who comes out to trick or treat every day because she doesn't know when Halloween is. The ever scheming town merchant with secretive ties to shadowy entities, Tessa. Vondo, the great wizard with mastery of his bat form and a love of the night. Along with many others, all equally dysfunctional and yet capable in their own ways. With such a powerful group of citizens, surely you would think Sunset Town would be safe. No. Oh, they seem uh, sad. You would be wrong. Unfortunately, they've grown up or perhaps always were incredibly lazy. They don't seem to care about saving the world at all. It's almost like Sunset Town itself is cursed, causing every great adventurer of note to lose their edge so they can party instead. You arrive with the latest batch of fresh-eyed adventurers, eager to make a name for yourself right before the end of the world. Will you train yourself to become a legendary hero saving the world and cementing your legacy forever? Or will you fall victim to the curse of Sunset Town and find yourself drinking on the beach while the world goes up in flames? This is your story about the last five days before the end of the world and the adventures you had along the way. Howdy, neighbor. Since you're new, let me give you a quick tour of the place. Hip hop. Where do I tap? Okay. Here's the navigation post. You can use it to visit all the different locations in Sunset Town. Every place has its own energy and everyone has their own favorite hangout spot. I just head wherever sounds fun. This is the turn tracker. We use it to figure out what demons are coming and where. Oh yeah, I suppose I should probably have mentioned. We get attacked by demons every now and then. When a demon attacks a part of town, it becomes totally inaccessible unless someone goes and clears it out. Spooky! This area here is for stat cards. You can use those to get a quick glance at your current stats without having to open up the menu. Speaking of the menu, you can find it here. You can use it to check out on your items and quests. It'll notify you if you have anything new with a little exclamation mark. Looks like you've got some quests waiting for you right now. Oh, and last thing, you might pick up some reroll tokens during your travels. You can use those to reroll an item you pick up or a skill you learn into something new. And that's the end of the tour. Don't worry if it didn't all stick. None of this in the end world stuff is all that important anyway. Just travel around and have lots of fun. Turn one. Doom approaches. If the entire world was threatened, the other... I didn't get to read that. What the hell? Oh. Sunset South selecting a captain for the Night's Watch. Who do you vote for? Who do I vote for? God, I need brains. So this kind of acts like a mobile game, I guess? I want you to put your life... His name is Jim. Oh, what is this? Beware inflatable dumbbells. Curse will befall those who enter the shop. Inheritance and a strange relative pass away, leaving you with a ninja tool. All right. All right, so we're on the mountain. This is our dude. We're a, a mouse that's not a human. That is actually a human. Don't let anybody trick you into thinking otherwise. You spend the day flexing in front of a mirror. You gain one strength. You and I are wandering around the Colosseum when you spot Tessa pushing against a wall. Uh, hey Tessa, what's going on? Hey How it's you? Come here and check this out. Tessa squats down and points at the wall. Take a look at the edge of this wall by the sand. See that little divot? There's a hidden door here. And you know what that means. Secrets and treasure. You had me a treasure. Let's bust in. Maybe I should have made him sound like Luffy. That's what I've been trying to do. It's sealed pretty tight, though. Help me push. The three of you push against the wall until it gives a revealing hidden <laughs> chamber. All right. Did I call it or what? Nice. Let's see what's inside. The three of you descend into the hidden passage, navigating by the light of Tessa's cell phone. After about 15 minutes or so, the passage ends revealing a jail cell. The ins and inside is a man wearing an iron mask bound in chains. 
Uh, what? Oh, this is spicy. Is he some kind of prisoner? Why does Cleo have a prisoner? Betty pisses her off. You mean if I piss her off? The man in the iron mask begins grunting, shaking against his chains. In the distance, you hear footsteps approach, and what sounds like Cleo's voice. We gotta do something. Shit! She's coming! Oh, that's what he sounds like? Whoops. Hmm, what do you think we should do with the guy in the mask, Jim? I actually want to know why he's here. She seems like a cool chick. Oh, God. Hey, guys, what's going on? Cleo, why do you have a man in an iron mask locked in the Coliseum? He's an immortal demon. Couldn't kill him. Couldn't let him go. Didn't have another water-resistant lockbox. Seemed like a good idea. Wait, he's immortal? That's amazing. How could I, uh, get my hands on one of those bad boys, these? Oh, easy. You don't. Oh, come on. You have an immortal demon. Why can't I have one? Because I do have a waterproof lockbox now, and if you find one, I will stick them in the bottom of the ocean. You're gonna regret that. You're a real killjoy sometimes, you know that? Listen, Tessa, do you have any idea how many of defeated enemies come back just because they weren't killed on screen? It's true, that is a trope. With Immortals, it's constant. It's lazy writing is what it is. I like her. I like her. We should have chose her. It's lazy what? I beat the Immortal Demon, so now he stays locked up. No more sequels, no more spinoffs, no more second chances. I am retired. Ain't dealing with this crap. Ugh, fine. But he could still be useful in other ways. Oh. Cleo teaches you to use the Immortal Demon as a training dummy to measure your damage. That's exactly what I thought she meant. Whatever that means. Cleo claims it's not abuse if they're immortal and also a total dick which sounds like a decent enough justification at the time. You all gain one strength and a sweet new workout routine. Doom approaches day two. I'm hoping to be recorded as like a worm. Worms don't have to go to work. Everyone gains two. A bank is robbed right before the morning dance. The thief will surely hide in the crowd. Well, that's not our problem. Let's go party. <laughs> Mini boss attack. Is that a tooth? What the heck? You can fight! Oh, it is a tooth. It's Toothy! He's gonna give me lamb chops! Let's kick his ass! Strike for four damage. Fire beam! Deal five damage. No lamb chop for me. Alright, all of us gain a knife. Treasure map. Looks like someone dropped a pistol in the road on the bar. What? On the road to the bar. That makes more sense. Nothing happened. <laughs> a Green Day reference. Alright. Obviously this is a... Ooh, a bar! Oh, neat. You found some loot. You found a pistol. You drunkenly participate in a human pyramid with a group of partying college kids. You gain one friendship. You arrive at the bar where I, Tessa, and Bondo are waiting for you with a deck of cards. Yo. All right, let's do this. You seem pretty excited for someone who places last every time. Nah, I got Jim here. Today, I hit third. That's rude. I would not be underestimating Jim. They have the eyes of a killer. Black and tiny. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's get this show on the road. The four of you trade in some cash for poker chips and get started. I is easily the worst player you've ever seen, regularly bragging whenever he has a good hand. Vondo doesn't appear to know the rules of the game, a fact Tessa takes advantage of. You're not sure if Tessa actually knows how to play or is just pretty good at conning those two idiots. Still, you're not sure if you should upset their dynamic. What should we do? We are a rat after all. You know what? I'm, I'm, we're going the pacifist route. Let's just let them go crazy. Hell yeah. You decide to intentionally throw the game to avoid rocking the boat too much. And so I can win for once. 
You spend the entire game trying to lose even harder than he does, which is difficult. But no matter how awful he is, you're able to draw upon your own determination to play even worse. You lose the game horribly. Alright! I knew I wasn't the worst! Can't believe you found someone who sucks even worse than you do. I is almost unnatural. Like it could never happen except on purpose. I like that his like arms are like a Hawaiian shirt, but they're like also relics. He's suspicious. Jim is probably exceptionally stupid. Maybe we should not make fun in any case they have a tiny brain. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I want Jim hanging out whenever we play all the time. Listen, Jim, you and I, we're best friends now. Oh, I didn't see that turn of events. Oh, I definitely like the plan where we invite the biggest loser in town to all our card games. I'm in. Nice. You feel your bond with the others growing stronger. You gain one friendship, and your persona is a little bit stronger. Maybe we have an apocalypse every week because the world is supposed to get destroyed. I don't know who's supposed to be reading that. Bondo wants to party all night. Do you join him? Gain one affection with Vondo. Lose one affection with Vondo. Fully heal and gain. I mean, you got to party with the di with the vampire. Come on, man. Jim isn't very, you know, responsible. Yeah, prepare for the apocalypse. You read a neat how-to guide and earn learn ghostly jab. Well, obviously, you do that. Where are we going now? Oh, I got treasure. There's treasure here. Oh, neat. You found some loot. You found inflatable dumbbells. Oh, it's her. Welcome. Fragrances of these seven candles combine together to form a magical and mildly hallucinogenic experience. Do I have money? Why, hello, Greetings. I am here to give up the big head dude. Ah, yes! You have big head Billy? I've always wanted one of these. I am not understanding. It is a little figure with a big head. It's a bobblehead, you dunce! And this isn't just any bobblehead, it's Big Head Billy! They only made 500 of these bad boys. So, does he do anything? He bobs his head. But so what? He bobs it! Look, I've got a whole collection of these! I, I knew I liked Tessa. I wouldn't even want one. Uh, what? Oh, uh, my God. I guess they went more Vlad. Whatever, we're sticking with my voice. That's a lot of bobbing people. Oh, yeah. Gonna corner the bobblehead scene with these guys. Next thing you know, I'll be running this town. These will help you run the town. Then you can't have it. I changed my mind. What? Oh, come on. This town belongs to me! You know what? I'm kinda... Kinda wanna see where this goes. I swear allegiance to Vondo land. But I'm not supposed to, aren't I supposed to be like trying to attract this girl? Let's hook her up. Let's help her out. Oh! You'll trade. But what? You hold up a stick of beef jerky. Vondo's eyes glaze over. Is that... A meat stick! Oh, I love meat sticks. I had a feeling. Very well. The bobbing head is yours. Vondo throws the bobble head at your chest and then flies out of the shop, holding the jerky with one hand while cocking with glee. Oh, cackling with glee. <laughs> Not what I said. You really traded beef jerky for my bobble head? I know jerky's crazy expensive. You're the best. Tessa gives you a tight squeeze and then takes the bobblehead like a squirrel with an acorn. Here, let me show you what these bobbleheads are really good for. Oh, you learn the ritual of the witch. Good stuff, am I right? But keep it a secret or there will be consequences. After giving you that chilling warning, Tessa closes up shop for the day. Maybe you should collect some bobbleheads of your own. Turn four. Doom approaches in four days. You're going to die in a way, so you might as well buy a panini. It's a fair point. Buy a pimple popper, gain a glass cannon, reject corporatism. Hell yeah! Reject corporatism! Uh -huh. A boss. 
mini boss attack. Go, rat man. It's a, it's a dude. Oh my god, it's the guy from the fairy tale game. He's come back for vengeance. All allies gain. I have no allies. Strikes for five damage. Let's kick his butt. Punch him. Deal three. Uh, I don't have I don't, any of none of these will work. So I guess I'll do that. I guess that'll gonna help me too. That's the end of my turn. How dare you stop playing Grim Fairy Tale game? What is this? What is he his friends? What the hell? It's a frog eat frog world, and this rat's here to play. I wonder if there's like some kind of strategy here. Or you don't just hit all the cards. I don't like this. What is he doing? No, don't call your friends again. Stop calling friends. I don't have friends. This is unfair. And they don't even stand up straight. This is all wrong. I'm going to gain some magic. I'm going to hit you. Do this. This is a free hit. That's a free hit. I didn't mean to do that, but we'll do this. Yeah, you're almost dead. He's going to call his buddies again. I might die. Don't do this, alright? We can talk. We can talk this out. This is this is not the way this should be going. I'm dead. I lost. What do I do now? You died. But you got over it. Ah, oh, well, at least I got over it. Probably. Someone dropped their wallet, and now it's all yours. Well, obviously, with that. Where to go next? Let's check out that dungeon. I'm curious about the masked man. You teach an adventuring group about the dangers of different colored floor tiles. You all gain one brains. Tonight's a special night in the dungeon because Haley is throwing a sleepover. You all came! This is gonna be great! Only because Cleo... What'd she do? Reminding us what a great friend you are. This is going to be great. I've been looking forward to this all week. I brought snacks. I forgot his voice, sorry. <laughs> and dinner for tonight. And ingredients so I can make pancakes tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! I was thinking we could play spooky board games and watch spooky movies. She screams when she says spooky. That's my thing now. And talk to a Ouija board. Or we could talk to actual ghosts. I bet Cleo knows where to find some. Oh yeah, I know where some really spooky spirits are. I killed almost all of them myself. Yeah, why settle for movies about soul-eating ghouls when we could deal with actual soul-eating ghouls? You mean, you know ghosts who eat souls? Would they eat my soul? Well, probably. Only if you get too close, though. Or answer any question they ask. Or look behind you. Or show fear. Is that what happened to little Glenny Three Legs? Did you say Glenny Three Legs? I love him! His ghost stops by the hospital to chat all the time. Yeah, it happened right in front of us when he itched his nose. Speaking of which, definitely don't do that. Uh, um, it's okay, good guys. We, we could just watch them on TV. We could do that anytime. This is a sleepover. Tessa is right. We should make this night extra special. I did kind of want to watch Money Bride, but... Again, we're trying to get favor with Tessa here, so... This is going to be the best sleepover ever. Right, Haley? Which ghosts are we going to visit? I'm thinking Ezekiel the Fleshnar. He's pretty cool, except during the day, or at night, or ever. So, uh, when does that leave? Oh, we'll visit him in the space between time. As long as you don't get noticed by an outer god, your mind will remain intact. Haley faints. Uh, Haley? She's out cold. Not again. Another sleepover ruined. 
The sleepover is cancelled. You decide to go out for a relaxing drink instead. Nobody watched the Mummy movie that night. But you got herbal tea. I've heard the world ending monster is kind of hot. The night before an apocalypse, Sunset Town throws what neighboring cities call an epic bender. This is referred to as the Doomsday Party, a party so hectic and crazy that even demons take the day off. Many of the residents like to bring a date. Is there a special someone in your life? Maybe someone you have on speed dial? It's an important day. The rest of your life will be decided in the next 24 hours. So tidy up your inventory, turn in your quests, and get ready to party. Nab a date before going. Okay. Gain one affection with Frank, lose 10 score. Everyone else gains five store. Nothing passes, the spirit of giving. Frank is hosting a gift exchange. Well, Frank seems like a cool guy. I don't think we've even met him. But his name is Frank, and that's pretty cool. All right, Jimmy. Cursed road. Beware, an inflatable dumbbells curse will befall those who enter the shop. Motivational speech. You listen to a motivational speech and get all fired up and gain one strength. Well. This sounds interesting, but this is the last day anyway, so who cares? Let's go. I guess we go to the shop. There's the thing there again. Obviously, this isn't going to be like you see everything ever. That's the whole. That's not the point of this, because there's too much to see. Oh, neat. You found some loot. You found an inflatable dumbbells, and you won't be cursed. I got a toy knife. Mysterious box. Oh, hell yeah, it's that pony I asked for when I was six. That's what I need. It's herbal tea. As you're about to leave home, you hear a knocking on your door. The hell? Bubso. Hey, I got some oil. I got... Oh, wait, let's try that again. Hey, hey that's the guy who killed me, asshole. Hey, I, you got some oil I could borrow. I need to. What is all this crap? Bubso points at all your things. Is that a steering wheel? You needed that for uh, reasons. You've just been picking up everything you could get your hands on, haven't you? You might have some trash there, kid. Are we going on hoarders? I need the stuff. Leave me alone. Oh, you're one of those. Well, no reason to be judgmental about it. Well, all right. Wait, is that... A giant rat falls out of your trash can. You know what? I'm going to go. Maybe take this first. Bubso passes you a trash can lid as the giant rat stumbles backwards, landing right into your party. Oh, sweet, I got a friend. Uh, good luck with that one. Bubso leaves you with your new rat friend in a pile of treasure. The fool, you're rich. You have so many things. This is it. The apocalypse is here. It's your last chance to turn in any quests, manage your inventory, and get ready for battle. You are going to get ready for battle, right? <laughs> you could go for a donut. If you haven't realized by now, Jim isn't the most responsible kind of person. So let's go. Let's go! Party! The revolution has begun. Oh my god, look at that shark. Yeah! Gino. Gino. We got Toothy taking care of it for me. Enemy gains two strength but loses two defense. Frail and weak. Smash his face. Why would. Why? <laughs> Summon a meter to kill your friends. This is all bad! Who's saying this? The shark? Come on, Toothy, you can do it. Find the surfer. That was probably a bad call. I think that is the shark saying that. The shark's pretty popular. Enemy gains two strength, but loses. Do this. And now you're in for it, buddy. 20 damage. Have the big and you, the plastic 
To be fair, I think I couldn't have done any better. That's the apocalypse. Sunset Town's apathy towards the apocalypse had finally bore fruit. The heroes had failed. Shark Lord tore through their town and every other, laying them to ruin. The world that remain, remained, darn it, I messed it up. The world that remained was barren and desolate. There were few survivors. As for what happened to you, well. Hoarding is an incredibly useful survival skill in an apocalypse scenario. You have things, random things, all useful in their own strange ways. That discarded steering wheel is now a part of your underground vault. You create the strong, the strangest, most obtuse fortress imaginable out of discarded trash. In a world of scavengers, you are king. Many travel to meet you, hoping to win your favor and gather just some of your riches. You have them all fed to the dogs and place their belongings in your ever-growing pile of wealth. The way you see it, everything in the world belongs to you now. So that's the happy ending, I think. We, we won. All right. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Please consider leaving some feedback. Every little bit helps. The game becomes even better. Return to title is probably going to open something up. That was Doomsday Paradise. We got to see how that rat dude survived it. Clearly, the lesson here is hoard to win. Thank you for being a part of this. We did not make out with Tessa, and there was no saucy stuff going on. So if you expected any of that, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. What I may do is, now that I see the situation of this game, I may replay it and upload different videos based off of different adventures. Again, I can't show you everything. I don't know if this game really works in the system of certain things lead to certain things or if it's kind of minimally randomized and it goes to a certain linear path so i don't really think i'm going to be here messing with all that however i believe i will do more than one video and just go from there i think that that's probably the right move here so thank you for watching doomsday paradise the demo i'm super important the developers gave me this for free. I hope you understand my uh, very necessary feedback is Im very important. So I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time.